Hey guys, I'm Linker264 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So in the last episode we just uh, parted the waters and now let's enter. Sora's Domain. So, a few things we can do here now. And I absolutely love the music in this place. One of the best tracks in this game. I'll just let you listen to it, but yeah. Right, first thing we can do is I'm sure you saw the torch that were down there. I'm gonna go light it. Stick reel it, and we have some more torches to light. I think it's uh, three, four. Ooh, fishes! Wonder if I can catch one and make it into uh, cook it and make it edible. Probably not. But probably not. Come on, come on. There you go. After that, we get. Link, don't set the chest on fire. Please. For that, we get a treasure chest. And what's inside the chest? Ooh, take a drink. Another heartbeat. So now we've collected three. Collected more than three, but we have three available at the moment. Now then, we need to climb back up to the top. And we're going to get something. Well, we're not going to get it just yet. We need to earn it. <clears throat> so I've just finished recording the last episode. I uh, haven't rendered it or out yet. Just move the files. Safe. They're ready. Not going to delete them like I did last time. Can be assured of that. So let's talk to this Zora here. Diving game, 20 rupees. Wanna play? Yeah. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. Okay. So the diving game is 20 rupees and he drops, or she, drops 5 blue rupees. So we get a nice little, uh, Earn on this, it's definitely no way of making rupees. But, well, it is one way, I suppose, but it's not a very good way. No, get the rupee, get the rupee, there you go. Uh, collect this rupee. So, yeah, we just got to collect all the rupees and then, yeah, go back up and see him and we'll get something very nice, apparently. But these last two you can get usually from one go. There you go. Hey, congratulations! I've got something very nice for you. Come and get it! Uh, no, I want to be on that side. No, I don't want to be on that side. I always get mixed up on that side. Ooh! Well, that sounds, uh... There's a little hole down there. I'll have to see if we can get in there. But first, we'll go and see what our little, uh, very nice present, prize, whatever you want to call it is. That's a very big Zora there. Well, we'll talk to him in a little bit. I'm back! What a graceful dive! Now, please take this. This is a scale of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. And we get the silver scale. Jump in on the water and press here. Something, 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 something. You can dive deeper than you could before! Well, let's go for that. I nearly jumped onto the rock, but that's fine. So this hole that I was uh, wanting to explore before. Let's do it now. Oh yes, we won't be able to get in there before, you see. And that brings us out into Lake Hylia. So now we have a nice little shortcut. 
but it's this that I'm more interested in. Something under the water. Oh, we got an empty ball. Put something inside and press something to use it. Whoa, 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 what? Something's already inside. Well, that's not very good, is it? Well, we're gonna have to find whose ball it is then. I suppose maybe if we can give them what's inside it, we might be able to give the ball. It'd be nice. All the bottles we can get are nice. Well, actually, I'm not playing fair with you, are you? I actually know where we need to get this uh, ball to. And I know it's owner. So we're going to give it to the owner. Why am I doing this? Everyone knows who's played. Every, everyone. Even if you haven't played this game, you probably know the plot, the story, maybe not the intricate details like this, but... This is King Zora. I'll speak. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Rudo. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Well, maybe this will uh, explain things. Oh, this letter. It's from Princess Rudo. Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora! I'm one of the slowest moments in the game, it's a perfect time for me to take a drink. Ah! Not done yet, mate. Come on. Maybe you need to lose a few pounds, you know. Maybe you should have made that your New Year's resolution. I suppose that's what you get if you just, start, if you just sit there all your life. I'm not sure he has sat there all his life. He probably hasn't, but you never know. Oh, thank God. So now we have an empty ball. Our third empty ball. We're not going to get our last empty ball for quite some time. Well, I'd say quite some time. Well, maybe a few more parts. So let's uh, go around the back of him and see what's out here. Zorus Fountain and what looks like a giant fish. We're going to ignore the giant fish for now and we're going to go around the back of him. Now you can get around here without actually going into the water, which I prefer to do because I think you move quicker. Actually, you might move quicker while you're swimming, but uh, I'll swim back and see. So there's a couple of things we can do here. Well, I think there's a couple of things you can do here. I know there's definitely one that I came here to do in the first place, but I'm sure we can do one more other thing as well. This tree here gives us our 30th gold skull to work. Damn it. So now we can go and get our next prize. But let's see if we can blow this, uh, this little grey rock up here. Whoa! Okay. Well, let's go inside and see what it is. Ah, great fairies fountain. Hang on a minute. Yes, right. Probably shouldn't have come here just yet. I just remembered something else that I did in the last recording of uh, part 9. We'll go and do that in this part then. Pointy the booby lady. <laughs> Welcome, Linkachu. I'm the great fairy of magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. Oh, all right, I'm it over. <laughs> And 
we got for Raw's Wind. This is warp magic you can use with something. Warp when you're in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time or warp to that point. <laughs> Remember, you can use Ferrara's Wind only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Probably never come back here in my life. Well, uh, now that we have that, let's exit. Uh, actually, I'll meet you in Kakariko Village. Okay guys, so now that we're back in Kakariko Village and we have 30 gold Skulltula tokens, we can go and get our third reward. I think it's the left back. No, it's the middle back. Okay. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. And we get the giant's wallet. What a huge wallet. Now you can carry up to 500 rupees. So that is the final wallet upgrade that we can get. And now that we have that, well, why don't we try and max it out straight away? The way that we're going to do that is by finishing the mass side quest. You see how uh, these things are all tied together now? I'll put it on, but unfortunately, unlike in Majora's Mask, it does not make you walk faster. That would have been a really nice addition to put into the uh, 3DS remake, to be quite honest with you. Now, finding who we need to get for the, uh, who we need to sell the bunny hood to, can be a bit tricky. Uh, my best bet, or my my advice to you, is probably to go around the circ uh, go around the perimeter of Lon Lon Ranch. There's a certain place I always seem to catch him, and it's around the back of Lon Lon Ranch. Uh, it's always usually best to try and do it at night. So it's a good job that it's turning to sunset now. So if we put the bunny hood on, um, and try and find who we need to find, because then once we've sold it and got our money, we can go and pay the money to uh, the happy mass salesman, and then that will be the quest complete. Well, I say quest complete, the mini side quest complete. I think he runs along this path, but I think he goes the other way. Uh, and yeah, he's always moving basically. But at night, I believe he stops moving. So I'm going to just have a look around. Of course, with um, Nintendo 64 not being the best at uh, fades, actor fades, and things like that, you know, um, field of vision, field of view. Not sure. Uh, what it is. But with it not being too good with that, we'll have to be pretty close to the person to uh, be able to see him. Problem I know, he might not even be out here yet, but he should be. Now this is the thing that could take a while. If it does, I will speed it up. <coughs> but hopefully, it shouldn't. Hopefully, it shouldn't. I won't be down there. It might be. It might be up here. <coughs> if anything, I'd say is on this path. It could not. Be, I'm not sure. But I'll just keep turning it to night time. If I don't see him. Hmm. And that's funny, we haven't actually had any, uh, we haven't had any, all that night time we didn't have any uh, thingies coming up. 
and a Star Force or Star Child. Maybe because we were wearing the bunny hood? If so, that's uh, something new I've learnt. Wait for it to become night time again and we'll see. Well, there are none coming. Let's take it off. As soon as I press that button, they came. I put the bunny hood on. No. Well, let me destroy it. And put the bunny hood on. So I'm going to take it off in three, two. Huh. Maybe it's not got nothing to do with the bunny hood then. Oh, okay. Well, let's go along this path then. Even though that pea hat's going to come out. About now. Huh. Maybe not. Oh, where are you, fella? I always hate trying to find him. Maybe it'd be best if it was daytime. I don't think so. Maybe I could wait in one place and let him come to me. It won't be down here, it's not going to be down there. Ah, Piat's only come out during the day. Okay. Oh, I see our friend Kibora Kibora over there. Right, it's just then that here, I thought I heard him running. Dude, get out of the face. Are you gonna get out of my way? I can't see what's going on. Nah, oh, that's a bit bad. Huh. This ain't going well. I'm not missing out, am I? No, 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 I'm not missing out. Huh. I'll just keep going along the same path. Maybe I have to be on the path? I think he runs along that path. And I know he definitely stops at night time. You know what guys, I'll cut to when I see him. Okay. Turns out I've been quite stupid. Just been looking on Zelda Dungeon. Turns out it doesn't appear until I've actually got all three of the spiritual stones. I didn't know that. So I suppose it's something I've learned. Hmm. And I'm pretty sure the bunny hood does stop Skulltellers. Skulltellers? Style Childs. So, yeah. But we should be able to get enough rupees to get at least one of the magic beans during doing this method so that's one way to do it right 
Now, do you remember when uh, we got when we first saw the the first great fairy on top of Death Mountain? She actually told us to come and see her sister, or I think she said sister, who was outside Hyrule Castle. So we're gonna go and do that, which is the thing that I thought I'd already done, but clearly not. Do, do. There you go. Yeah, and then after we've done this, we can go back to the Zora's domain because soon as I thought I could uh, do the mass side quest, and I can't, there's not a right lot else that we can do. So, what does this say? Dead end. Not really. Secret. Just nearly burped. Secret passage! And this is another one of these places. Great Ferris Farming, that's it. Right. Play that famous song. Welcome, Linkachu. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> Hand it over. You got Din's Fire. It's fireball and goes everything. It's attack magic you can use with something. <laughs> you can use Din's fire not only to attack but also to burn things. When battle has made you weary, please come back and see me. Never coming back here in my life. Yeah, it's a recurring thing with uh, Great Fairy's Fountains. I'll meet you at Zora's Domain. And here we are in Zora's Domain. Right. It's a good job we've got an empty bottle here. Because we're going to go fishing again. But not conventionally. We're just going to go in and grab a fish. It's a shame it won't be so easy at the fishing hall. And we caught a fish. Use it with something and something might happen. It looks so fresh and delicious. On select items so screen you can say to something, something or something and then use that something to use it. You're probably thinking, where the hell has he caught a fish? All will become clear, my people. My people. My friends. I'm really uh, quite annoyed that I can't finish the my side quest at the moment. I thought I'd be able to. No worries, we'll do it afterwards. There's going to be a lot of things that we can do after we've done the next dungeon. So. Hmm. Well, to be quite honest with you. That's a huge fish. Yep. I'm going to leave it here, guys. So, I've been Link264. And I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.